Good morning, children. Yesterday we revised chapter number one, and today we are going to revise chapter number two all together. Okay, so let's begin this revision session. Chapter two, all together revision session. My dear children, we will revise the entire chapter two in this revision session. Now let's see what are the topics that we will cover in this session. First of all, essential things or facilities required to live. Then how we get these facilities? Benefits of being together. Our duties towards others. Story of Rupal. Why some children cannot come to school? Importance of helping others. Journey of a pot, and professions that are connected to each other. My dear children, in our country, we have different religions, languages, cultures, and foods. Yes or not? In spite of all these diversities, all of us require similar kind of facilities, isn't it? Like food, drinking water, clothes, house, school, etc. We should think about where these facilities are derived from. Children, now we will see what are the essential things required to live. Without these things, our life is not possible. They are food, clean drinking water, clothes, house, clean air, school, and employment. Children, now we know. What are the essential things or facilities? But how do we get these facilities? All of us are dependent on each other in the society. Many people work hard to make these facilities available for us. Some of these we get from nature. And some from the government. Food, children, we all know that food is the basic necessity for life. Nature provides us food in the form of vegetables, fruits, grains, etc. Farmers grow all these things and feed us, and we purchase. The food items from the market. Children, can we survive without drinking water? No, we cannot. Streams, rivers, and lakes are the major sources of drinking water. Living beings cannot survive without water. It is the basic necessity for life. Next is clothes. Clothes are one of the basic needs of a human being. Children, farmers grow cotton and other fiber plants. They are processed and woven into cloth in the factories. Children, after food and clothes, human beings require shelter to protect themselves. From heat, cold, and rainwater, a house is a basic need for us, isn't it? It is built out of mud, bricks, cement, wood, etc. School. School is a place where we get education. It has an important role in our lives, isn't it, children? Government. Facilitates us 
with schools in every city and village children now let's see what are the benefits of being together being together develops the feeling of cooperation unity and teamwork task can be completed easily and efficiently also we can understand and solve problems of each other therefore being together is very important dear children when we live with togetherness we also have to understand our duties towards others we should cooperate and help others we should understand and respect the feelings of others we should maintain peace and harmony and maintain cleanliness in the surroundings children let's revise the story of rupal a young girl rupal wants to go to school like other children but rupal cannot go to school she asks her father to send her to school but she could not go to school because she was different from other children she could not even play like other children she was willing to go to school and was very fond of studying but what can be done rupal had been suffering from polio in both her legs since childhood so she could not walk children but once an organization donated her a wheelchair she came to school with the help of a neighboring boy children when she went to school everyone welcomed her in school rupal her parents teachers and students are very happy today my dear children there are some children who cannot come to school let's see why due to physical disabilities due to financial problems schools are far away in remote areas lack of transportation facilities to go to school sometimes people do not send girls to school due to insecurity due to child labor and also due to child marriage now children let us see the importance of helping others it makes you happy builds a stronger society and community helping others promotes positive behavior in children and also it develops a feeling of unity journey of a pot children now we will see that how clay becomes a beautiful pot dear children the potter first collects some clay and makes a proper dough out of it then the potter puts the clay on the spinning wheel and gives shape to the pot then with wet hands it smoothens the pot students when the pot is ready it is removed from the wheel then the pot is put in the fire to become hard and strong when the pot is ready potter sends all his pots to different places and the seller sell them in the market my dear children different professions and jobs are connected to each other do we ever think about the hard work made 
by a potter or his helper while drinking cool water from the pot do we we do not even think about the maker and the seller of an ice cream or milk provider while eating it now children let us see how professions are connected to each other furniture is connected with woodcutter and carpenter clothes with tailor and shopkeeper food with farmer and vendor books with writer and printing press pots with potter and transporter so children now we have come to the end of this revision session of chapter 2 all together read the lesson thoroughly and learn the question answers and write them in the notebook also solve the worksheet okay children thank you and take care